All right, so I had to show them off, but I finally got some. Here we go. Boom, I finally got myself a pair of Timberlands, and I love them to death. They are really, really sick, and they are really comfy, and they just like bring everything together. I quite like them. I think they're really sick. So, I was just gonna show them off for the video real quick. Hey yo, what is up guys? Your boy's back and I got my oil, a new Oilers hat to remind you I'm still an athlete and a Green Day shirt to remind you I'm still punk rock. So, if you guys haven't seen last week's video, it was about how much I actually want a PS5. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description below. But today's video is about my favorite bands. I'm gonna talk about five in particular of like my favorite ones. So we'll just get right into that. So we'll start with, it's not even like a list, but we'll start with the first one I wanna talk about here is Papa Roach. I really, really like Papa Roach. And yeah, I was listening to him a lot last year. And a lot of this year, I listen to him a lot when I'm running. Uh, they have a lot of really good songs and a lot, my favorite one, it was actually on the uh, intro to Raw back in like, I believe it came in 06 was, uh, to be loved, and I friggin' love that song. It is so amazing, just like that opening guitar intro, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. it just like takes you to like that next level. And even the, the music video is fucking wild too. Like, so I, after like watching that and like listening to that song like a million times, I began to listen to some of their other songs. But another one of my favorites that I'd recommend everyone check out is American Dreams, and, I, and that it's again just an amazing song. That one. It like almost opts to be loved to me, but it can't because to be loved is nostalgia at its finest. So, I like Papa Roach. I think they're really good. I recommend people listen to them more, especially if they're like running or at the gym. They have like really good songs with like really good beats to them. So I'd recommend that. So another song after kind of like listening to Papa Roach, another band I got like right into around after that was called Breaking Benjamin. Now, obviously, we all know, we all know we're going to talk about the Phobia album here because that has Diary of Jane on it, and we all know Diary of Jane is, come on, it, <laughs> what? It, it's so good. And I can listen to that song, I listen to that song like every day, like every day I listen to it. I played it at work, and, my, and the guy I was working with is like, is this called, uh my playlist I had when I was in high school or whatever, and it was just banger after banger. I was also playing Until the Day I Die by Story of the Year, and he really, really liked that. So, yeah, I really love the song Diary of Jane. I remember, like, listening to it in, like, old, like, pro wrestling video game, like, compilations where they, like, like do, like, moves crazy, these wild moves, and then that song was, like, playing, and, like, they're not AMVs. I don't know what you'd call them, because, like, anime music video, but... Uh, video game MVs, BMVs? I don't friggin' know. <laughs> Anyways, like that song, that song was really good. And I listened to it all the time. I also really like Defeated. Defeated is, it's, that one's a good one. That is a really, really good one. All right. So we'll go, we'll go a little pop punk for the next one. We'll talk about Sum 41. And yeah, yeah so I think, I probably heard about like a lot of their songs, but the song that really got me into it was uh, In Too Deep, and it was in that Malcolm in the Middle episode where Reese was, uh, Reese, <laughs> where he was taking, like, driver's, driver's training, and Reese is like, it's time to go behind the wheel, and then Hal's like, why does he keep saying it like that? Why does he keep saying it like that? <laughs> and then that song, like, came on at the end, and then he, like, says to the girl, he's like, when they, when they ask me about me, when they ask you about me, tell them, I got under your shirt. <laughs> I like died laughing. I think he like, he planted one on her after that. Uh, so yeah, like some 41, they're like obviously really big here in Canada. So I have to mention a Canadian band. And if I am, I'm going to go with some 41. It's like my favorite. Cause I play, I like just put like a compilation on while I like run or work out or whatever. And yeah, I, I go on like Apple music and I'll like put them on. So yeah, they're really good. Next up, we're gonna talk about like a band that like is huge to me, and that is Shine Down. Uh, 
I like, you know, I keep saying, like, I love this band, but like, yo, like, shine down, like, like, just banger after banger here, guys. Just, just a lot of like really, really good ones here. So like, I don't even remember. I, I mean, the first song I like, okay, not the first song I heard, but the song where I like looked them up after hearing was Devour. I'm like, man, that song's a banger. And then I heard like Diamond Eyes, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then like. Oh man, I just heard just so many great friggin' songs. I might, I might actually like, I, if you guys want, I'm gonna do like album reviews or whatever. I'm just gonna talk about the songs on the albums. So I'd probably obviously do this album here. But yeah, I mean, like, I'd obviously wanna talk about Shine Down's albums. Like, Miracle and I'm Not Alright are just classic, amazing songs to me, and they just mean so much. Uh, but like, one of my, my personal favorite is probably If You Only Knew. And that's probably my favorite one. So if I was to recommend like one song by them, it'd be If You Only Knew. But I could just, I, I'll listen to all of their songs. So we're going to go to the last one. If you know me, you know we're going to talk about it. You know, I talk about them all the time because I listen to them all the time. And that is My Chemical Romance. Yep, I remember the first time I heard Welcome to the Black Parade and I was like, hoops the fuck is this and then i just listened to that song like it was just on repeat i was listening to it just all the time and that song like saved my life because i friggin whew, i didn't know how much i needed that song but i needed it like 16 year old me was like this whatever this is get me this and then i listened to the whole welcome to the black parade album and let, let's be honest, like, Famous Last Words, it's just a classic, too, so, like, that whole album is just full of bangers, and, like, or, like, the first time you hear Helena, and that that's just such an impactful song, and, dang, dang, I can just, like, talk about, like, I, I like to, like, just, like, talk about one song, and, like, everything it means and everything it values, but we're just talking about, like, my favorite bands, and, like, bands I recommend, like, everyone listen to, if you're into that kind of music. Obviously, you can tell I'm kind of into, like, butt rock and, like, but more, like, punk rock kind of music or pop punk and all that kind of stuff. So, I, or alternative or whatever the fuck. I'm not, like, there's, like, a million genres and, it's like, and how, like, bands are, like, classified under them. I can't tell you any of them. But I just really wanted to talk about these bands because I just, like, listen to them all the time. And, yeah, obviously, I have, like, a lot of music recommendations. Uh, but, yeah, if I ever get around to it, I'll, I'll start doing, like, album talking about albums and stuff on this channel so you guys know what to do like the video comment subscribe and peace out guys